This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. You're actually an interesting person to ask this question to that I can't really ask myself or the free keeners because none of us are objective at all. But, but I can ask you because uh, you're a little bit more, you're more of a native or closer to being a native than we are. Yeah. That? Free Keen from the Free Staters. What does that mean? Awesome. Get you Fair. morons out of here. I get the impression that there's quite a bit of opposition to Free Keen uh, and Free Staters in the town. Uh, but I'm, I sometimes can't tell if it's it's just because they're loud or... or what, what do you think is the pulse in the town? What would you think of an opinion poll was taken? You know, do you support... Free Keen, or do you approve of Free Keen? What would, what would the result be in the poll? Well, in I'm, Keen? A, I'm objective in many ways because if I was a parking enforcement person, I'd be irritated by them following me around. But I also know the law, and I know I also know their rights, so I wouldn't have nothing to do with it and be like, well, I have to grin and bear it because that's the law. They're allowed to do that. You know, this is what I vowed to be. And, and even in their even in their job description, it says they they're subjective to public scrutiny, and and people aren't going to like them very much. So it's part of their job description. But but your friends and people you know, and what kind of sense do you get from them as how they're reacting to these activists? My wife hates the idea of them being followed. The large man is saying he's going to smash the camera. Just wanted to inform you guys. Don't talk to us. Just get well, away from us. it says in your. It says in your employment protocol when someone's making criminal threats, you're supposed to assist okay, the public. Stop, stop, stop. You literally got three minutes. You really want to have a life, bro? You get a hundred minutes away from these drugs. Where's the police? Where's the police? Where's the police? Leave him alone. Um, in fact, I know some people that actually have assaulted, you know, Graham Colson, you know, went after him physically on following even though I think there's some shady issue going on there but as far as myself go I, I I personally got banned from the CAC from violent rhetoric recently this is a couple weeks ago um, because I made a statement about driving the beer cat through a front of a you know police station instead of taking them to court it's so I'd interesting take them to court it was just a joke um, but but I got I got banned from the CAC because of that but I still love what they do I, I love their activism I, I love People actually taking a call, even though it might not be the right cause or the right way, but if it gets attention, if it gets attention and people following it, I think it might be a good idea for more people to be doing it. Garrett, Garrett, yourself, you know, uh, probably two of my favorite activists. Thank um, you. Ian, Ian being the third, um, even though I haven't seen him do much lately because he's been doing the free talk live and stuff like that. He's better um, at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's good at the, the talk. He's not very good at confrontations. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. you know, I, I like Ian a lot, and I, you know, I, I personally have friends. Pete's a friend of mine, and I got into CopBlock.org because of him and my personal experience with Keen PD. Well, and it's interesting um, how I've, inter I've seen you interact with police. Uh, What'd you like to do? He's gonna open this up. All right, I'll document the process, but won't object. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi. We all have jobs to do. It's yep. funny, I know both of them, but they don't know each other. <laughs> you, who else do you know? No, he's uh, saying that he knows, he knows you and he knows me. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a funny feeling, I know, running into people that you, you recognize from television. Just up on the sidewalk. You're very respectful toward them. I like your demeanor. It's very much better than most of the free st Well, a lot of the free staters, they go up to cops too. Yeah, I just, you know, the, the day I met you, I just thought it was weird that I'm in camo gear. And they asked you for your ID, but didn't even go near me. I thought, it was, and I'm, wa I'm waving a sign saying pro-war or whatever. And, you know, I thought that was kind of a, you know, a conflict of interest on their part. You know, I look like some terrorist and... Here you are wearing a press badge and everything. They still ask you who you. Oh, well, when the aliens come or the Chinese invade, I guess I'll be pro war too. <laughs> yeah, I had to stick out for you and say something. It just wasn't yeah. right. I, I didn't feel like it was right. I'm like, hey, I know this guy. This guy's well known. You know, yeah. Le leave him alone. But uh, uh, you know, the Robin Hood thing. I, I I'm doing it for Pete more than anything because I really don't believe he should be added to the case at all just by using the. It's arbitrary. It, it they don't like his beard. 
Yeah, they don't like his beard, or or you know they have a personal gripe against him because he's taped so many you know cops. And, and the thing with City of Keene is they're extremely, extremely retaliatory in action when it comes to like if you file complaints or go to the AG's office. You know when they hear about it, they're gonna try to get you in any way they can. Like this. Well, they're in New Hampshire's North Korea. Yeah, yeah. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.